Hey everyone, welcome back to Take You Forward. So today we will be solving the problem longest string chain. And this is uh, the DP45. Again, the prerequisites are very simple. You should have seen LIS. If you have not, go and watch out 41 and 42. DP41 and 42 are the prerequisites for this. If you have not, you'll not understand this. And after that, don't tell me that you did not. So what is the problem? Longest string chain. So I'll be given an array of words. I'll be given an array of strings, which will be words. So this is, this is it. Now you have to figure out the chain, string chain. What does that mean? I can say A, B, A, and then B, D, A. This is a chain. I can say A, B, A, B, C, A. This is a chain. I can say B, B, A, B, C, A is a chain. What do you mean by chain? This can be anything. The first guy can be anything. It is not a compulsion that it has to be a single character guy. It can be any word. After that, if you insert one character, you get the next word. So if you insert B, you get BA. After that, if I insert D, I get BDA. And the insertion can be done anywhere. Like if I insert D in between, I get BDA. Similarly, if I insert B, I get BA. Similarly, if I insert C, I get BCA. I insert A, I get BA. I insert C, I get BCA. So that is string chain. If you are talking about this, the previous guy should be one deletion. If you're talking about this, the previous guy should be one deletion. So that is what string chain is. You can call this in the chain if you have just added one character or if you have just added one character in that word any at any given place, then you can call this a chain. Now, whenever I attach longest, it means you have to find the longest among all the chains possible. Okay, so which will be the longest chain? Can I say uh, if I pick something like A, B, A, B, C, A and after that B, D, C, A, do I see? Yes, because I can just add a B and I'll get B, A. I'll just add a C, I'll get B, C, A. I'll just add a D and I'll get B, D, C, A. So can I say the longest is A, uh, B, A, B, C, A, B, D, C, A and the length is four so the question states you to print the length four even you can print uh, the sequence if you wish to uh, once we will be doing this you can easily do it so i want you to print the length the longest length so how do you solve this particular problem that's the point so can you relate this problem uh, to somewhere uh, related to longest increasing subsequence let's relate so what was uh, longest increasing subsequence this was saying it is subsequence. Now, does it match? This is a longest string chain or I can say string subsequence, which is again a good word. So subsequence and subsequence does match. Longest and longest does match. Only problem is string and increasing. In Elias, in Elias, if you remember, it was like 1, 4, 3, 7, 10. Then I was like, okay, this, 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 this. Why? Because this is greater, this is greater, this is greater. We were saying greater. Over here, over here, strings are part of it because instead of greater, can I say the difference is one character. The difference between them is one character. The difference between them is one character. So can I say, instead of increasing, if I can check the difference to be one character, then the question is pretty much similar. Indeed. So if you remember the LIS code, it was uh, pretty straightforward. You started from uh, somewhere like zero, like one. You went until N and uh, the J or the previous loop started from zero l i and you went in like j plus plus and if you if you remember the code was quite straightforward if array of i was greater than array of j and and dp of j plus one because that was the sequence 
was greater than dp of i you ended up saying dp of i will be dp of j plus 1 and that's how you changed so this was the code for this was the code for lis now i'm looking for a similar structure i'm looking for a similar structure of subsequence but the problem is when i have two strings prior to this we had two guys like 4 and 7 and we compared if 7 is greater than 4 over here if we have two strings assumes array of i is a string array of j is a string can i say i just need to compare if they are differentiating by one character can i say i need to compare them if they are differentiating by one character if they are can i say it's, it'll, it's going to be the same problem instead of increasing i just need to make sure if i'm taking bca and the previous guy is ba then it should be just an addition of character which makes bca that's it that is what i need to compare so if by if i can write the compare i think my problem will be solved and i can get the maximum like i can just get the maxi equal to max of maxi comma all the dp of i's and i can say that's my answer and i can return the answer to be maximum so the shuttle changes over here if you can compare array of i and array of j and you see that they're differentiating by one character like you can form array of i you can form array of i which is the word by inserting one character on array of j that's it that's what you need to check and that's pretty simple very, very easy it's it's not that tough so if you can do this portion if you can just do this portion i think our job will be done now Assuming I take uh, BDA and BDCA, assume uh, the array of J is BDA and the array of I is BDCA. This is definitely possible. This is definitely possible. Why? Because if you insert a C, you get BDCA. But how do you write that function to check? It's very, very, very simple. What do you do is you write BDCA, okay? You keep a pointer i over here and you write b d a and you keep a pointer j over here quite straightforward uh instead of i and j let's just mark it as pointers are they matching they are just move the pointer are they matching they are just move the pointers are they matching no just move the pointer remember this the c did not match with a so you just moved a you just moved this pointer and not this are they matching? Yes. Just move the pointer. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you see if this guy reached the end and if this guy reached the end, if both of them reach the end simultaneously, it's very important, simultaneously, then we can say they're matching. But do we have any other cases? Let's, uh, let's see for a case where it's not an insertion at the end. Assume array of J, like the previous guy to be bc and array of i or rather bcd to be bcda this is possible because if you insert a this is possible so instead of checking this you are checking is it possible or not now what you do is you say bcda let's keep a pointer bcd let's keep a pointer bb matches let's move cc matches let's move dd matches let's move over here we are at a a does not match so let's move so if if at the end of the day again you have simultaneously like you have reached the end for both the strings it is indeed sure it is indeed possible so if it is possible that's how you can do it you just need to match it so and one more thing is uh, if this is of length 3 this has to be of length 4 that's for sure otherwise it's definitely not possible so first check for length then you can check for character matching because the characters has to be same, right? So you just need to write this compare function. And if you are able to write this compare function, it's pretty obvious that you should be able to solve this. So what I will do is I will now go back to the code. So here's the code. Uh, so let's go back to the longest increasing subsequence and pick up uh, the code from there. So this is the longest increasing subsequence, which will pick up the code from. So I've just picked up the code. And now we don't need to uh, print the subset, so we can definitely omit the hash uh, stuff. We can just omit the hash stuff and we can keep the maxi stuff. So, 
So let's omit the hash and let's keep the maxi stuff. So that's how uh, easy it is. Okay, so we have declared the DP, then we have this portion of LIS, correct? Now, if you remember, this is what I need to change. This is what I need to change. And if I'm able to change this, I should be able to figure out the answer. Okay, so how do I change this? I just need to make sure, uh, is it check? Is it possible? Check for possibility of array of I and array of J. Just check for possibility and that should be fine. So I just need to write the possibility code. So let's check for possibilities. Boolean check possible boolean check possible you take string uh, s make sure you take by reference string again s to make sure you take by reference now the first thing that you will check is if s1 dot remember this s1 is the greater guy s1 is the greater guy s2 has to be the smaller guy because you're moving in the subsequence pattern so this has to be equal to s2 like if this is by short uh, like th if this is falling at the first stage then you say, hey, listen, it's it's definitely not possible. If this is not possible, it's false. It's not possible. Or else you go for a check. Let's keep a couple of pointers. Okay. So probably you can keep the first pointer at zero. You can also keep the second pointer at zero. Amazing. Just keep on moving because you know for sure, you know one thing for sure. First is pointing to S1. First is pointing to S1. Okay. So if I try to write it uh, in... Like if I keep uh, this as B, C, D, A and the other one has B, C, D. So make sure the first points here and make sure the second points here. And now keep on comparing, keep on comparing till both of them exhaust. Because you know one thing for sure, S1 is the greater one because you have checked for this. So S1 is definitely greater because if this is, this is true, then S1 has to be greater in length. Cool. So... We will keep on doing this till this is smaller like the it does not exceeds the bigger string it does not exceeds the bigger string so we will definitely keep on doing this so i can say s1 dot first if is equal to s2 dot second if that's the case can you just move both of them as the first case or else if it is not it is not if it's not then this guy at the first this guy like assume there was b c d a okay and assume there was something like b d a so you need to insert c so whenever this is like at the first case b will match with b so you will end up at here now c does not match us so you move this guy only you don't move this guy this still stays as d so what you'll do is you'll say let's move the first guy only because that's where the insertion will be done once you have done this at the end of the day, if first also reaches S1 dot size, that's the end. And the second also reaches this, then you can say, please return that it's possible or else it's not possible. That's how you can compare. So in this way, you can have a comparison code, right? Pretty simple. So on running, so on running this, you will see that you're getting wrong answers on three cases. Why does that happen? Because we solve this question thinking of subsequence. But if I give you an example like this, our thought process was, okay, this can be the first guy, this can be the second guy, and this can be the third guy. So we were saying that the longest length will be three, right? But over here, they see that, hey, listen, I don't care about subsequence. I can pick up from anywhere. Because if you read, it says sequence, not subsequence. It, you can pick up from anywhere. For an example, I'll say this will be my first guy, okay? xb then i'll say this will be my second guy xbc this will be cxbc this will be pcxbc and this will be perfect and i get a length of five and that's the answer for this particular test case so if i do this we are getting our answer so it is a subset instead of subsequence and if it's a subset we have done this in the previous problem what do you do you can just sort them because Somewhere down the line, if XB is the first guy, if the array had XB right here, sorry, uh, yeah, XB, then XBC, then XBCF. So if you have, if you would have sorted it, then it would, it would have automatically taken care of the length. It would have automatically taken care of the length. Correct. So can I say I will sort it according to the length? Again, very important. I will sort it according to the length 
so let's have a sort but according to the length so i will say sort array dot begin array dot end and i'll give a comparator so that it sorts it according to the length if you don't know to write comparator you can watch out my stl video i have taught you over there how to write comparators so please go and watch that out so i will say return s1 dot size because i am more concerned about sorting them according to the length so this is how if it's a smaller length it's fine it will return a true otherwise it will return a false so i've sorted them according to the length of the strings once i've sorted that i'll run the test cases and you see all of them are running i'll try to submit this this will be giving you correct answer what will be the time complexity if i ask you the time complexity is n into n n square and there's a check possible where you are iterating across the string lengths so can i say this uh, time complexity is n square into the length of the strings like whatever is the maximum length of the string you can go across to that that is the time complexity and the space complexity before this you are also sorting it so it's an n log n and then there's a big of n space being used so that's what the time complexity and the space complexity will be for this particular solution so guys i hope you have understood uh, the entire solution so just in case you did please 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 make sure you like this video and if you're new to the channel please do consider subscribing to us because that is the only thing that keeps me going and yeah with this i'll be wrapping up this video let's see you in the next one bye bye don't ever forget your golden